Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Tom's Special Thanksgiving Day Written by Alan Matkovic Illustrated by Justo Borero Once upon a time, out in the beautiful countryside, there was a farm with many animals. Pigs, horses, cows, chickens, roosters, rats, and a plump turkey named Tom. At sunrise, the farmer had gone around telling all the animals not to say anything to Tom about the day's celebration. Soon after, Tom woke up with a morning stretch of his wings. The farmer leaned over the turkey scoop and happily remarked, Tom, it's your special day today. Tom thought to himself, Really? Me? My day? Wow! Tom grinned as he strolled out of his enclosure, enjoying what promised to be a breezy, sweet-smelling, partly cloudy fall day. The sun shone a little brighter on his special day, and Tom's eyes twinkled with an extra glow. He walked along the barn past the pigs and gave them a wink. Hey ya, yeah, piggies! Aren't you gonna wish me a happy special day? Tom asked cheerfully. The pigs sank a little deeper in the mud. Tom shrugged off their silence. Nothing was going to bring him down on his special day. Tom entered the barn where he met Henry, standing in the doorway of his horse stall. The turkey greeted the big brown stallion. Top of the morning, Henry! The horse just snorted. What's up, Henry? Aren't you gonna say anything to your gobbler pal? Henry chewed up some straw but kept mum. Tom turned around and said to no one in particular, Is anyone gonna talk to me on my special day? Rudy the rat had been listening to the conversation from his hole in the barn wall. He scurried out faster than a corn kernel pops and explained, Tom! It's Thanksgiving! Oh, it is? Great! I love Thanksgiving! Tom replied with a hungry smile. I love mashed potatoes, gravy, candied yams, especially the marshmallows, pumpkin pie, and... Before Tom could finish listing all his favorite Thanksgiving foods, Rudy continued, Do you know what they serve on Thanksgiving, Tom? Yeah! I just told you! There's mashed potatoes, gravy... Oh, and I forgot corn on the... Rudy interrupted Tom again to shout a single word, Turkey! Turkey? Tom pondered. Wait a second. I'm the only turkey on this farm. Which means... Ah! Tom started to run. He had never learned to fly but now he wished he had. Half running, half flapping, Tom sped away from the barn as fast as turkey legs would carry him. Not knowing what Rudy the rat had said to Tom, the farmer yelled, Where are you going, Tom? What's gotten into you? The farmer dashed after him. The animals followed the farmer. Tom, come back! The animals called out to their gobbler friend. They chased Tom between the rows of corn. They raced through the sunflowers, stumbled into the pumpkin patch, and thundered over the bridge above the stream. The group headed up the grassy hill and down the other side. The farm's only turkey splashed into the shallow stream past the frogs and the fish. Then he sprinted along the cornfield back up the path to the barn. Tom slipped inside, shut the door, and hid in the horse stall. He was trembling and sweating. 
After a few minutes, the crowd caught up to Tom. Tom, why are you hiding? Asked the farmer, trying to coax him from his hiding place. We ain't gonna hurt you, buddy. Come on over to the coral. We got something special for you. I'll bet it's an oven, replied Tom. What? No, Tom, said the farmer. We need you. You're a friend. There's no reason to hide. No way, no how. Tom shot back, still scared and worried. His beak and feathers were shaking. The farmer hurried to the house to grab some rope and a bowl of Tom's favorite snack. He put the treat outside Tom's hiding place and deftly made a lasso, placing the rope close to the bowl. Tom, you'll want to see what I have, the farmer offered persuasively. Tom didn't plan on ever coming out, at least until he smelled something truly delicious. The farmer had left a bowl of homemade applesauce, still warm from the stove. Yum! Tom peeked from the door of the stall, then inched out just far enough to have a little taste. He couldn't resist. As Tom stepped up to the bowl, the farmer quickly pulled on the rope and the loop tightened around Tom's leg. Wah! No! Tom hung onto the stall door. I'm not going! Tom loudly refused. He was determined to give them a fierce fight. The farmer heaved, leaning back. The animals used their teeth to pull on the rope. Tom's feathers began to slip and, all at once, Tom lost his grip. He hit the ground with a plop. Slowly, they tugged him over to the coral. The helpless turkey covered his face with his wings. Tom didn't want to look. Tom, open your eyes. The farmer whispered as he gently brushed the turkey's feathers. Tom opened one eye and peered out. There were balloons, streamers, and a big sign in the middle. Gosh, they're having this huge celebration and I'm going to be the centerpiece of the feast. Tom cried to himself, shuddering all over. Then, the one and only turkey on the farm started to read the letters on the sign. Carefully, he sounded it out. Happy birthday? Surprise! All the animals shouted. Happy birthday, Tom! Tom had forgotten all about his birthday. Today was his birthday. He had been born on Thanksgiving. Tom didn't know what to say. He wiped away his tears of joy and relief and let his heart speak. Wow! I am so thankful to have friends like you guys! Tom gave hugs to everyone, especially the farmer. Following Tom's surprise, the Thanksgiving birthday feast began, and the whole farm celebrated late into the night. As for the main course, they didn't need one. There were so many side dishes. Everyone was stuffed. The end. Happy Thanksgiving! There's so much to be thankful for. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!